get you to understand something. I'm the Lord, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Fear, 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 fear. Second interview came in. He came in and, and, and I kind of said, yeah, I know who this is. And, and he came interview ready. He knew how to talk here, research the company and everything. And as we're talking, you can tell he's into to theatrics because he was very, very animated. <laughs> and I was just like, I was like, okay, he one of them ones. He, he know how to interview really good, <laughs> which is cool. And so he's going on and on and on and on and on and on. And so, and you know, I get, I get personal. I'm like, so what would you, what do you just really like doing? He was like, you know, at one point in time, I was, I was gonna move to California because I, I like screenwriting. I like play, I like doing. You know, writing movies and all this, 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 this. And right while he's talking, God said, fear. I said, well, why didn't you pursue that? I was scared. I said, wow. So you stuck at a dead end job with limits because you're too afraid to use the gift that God gave. child of God, you have no business being stuck with limited earning potential. The position you're in should just be a bridge to get you where you're going. That's why you, you got to think about it. If you love what you do, like they say, you'll never work a day in your life. But God gave you what he gave you so you could be able to use what's in you to be able to be a blessing to yourself and to other people. God does not want us stressed. Stress is evil. Did you know that? Diseases are evil. Anxiety is evil. And these are all the things that we get behind not being in position with God. I'm here to tell you that when you step out on faith and you remove fear, what happens is you may not understand how things are going to happen, but you have such a peace about yourself to where people just don't understand. If I was you, I don't know how I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't understand. I don't see how. You, you wouldn't see how because you can't see this with physical eyes. Because why? He said in his word, I will give you a peace that surpasses all understanding. In other words, people don't understand why you're so peaceful. So as long as you depend on you, you always have limits. But when you depend on God, you take the limits off. Well, Pastor, what are you saying? Are you saying that, that we should just drop everything and just go after our dreams? I, I, I'm not telling you that, but what I am telling you to do is to seek God for the areas in your life that, that, that we have allowed fear to be the God. That's, that's what we have to do. Because how many of us in here are doing right now what we always wanted to do? Show hands. Lift your hands high if you're doing what you always wanted to do. If you, if this, if you wake up tomorrow in the morning, this is what you wanted to do. This is how you want to make a living with your life. The gift that you have in your heart, this is what you want to do. And this is just, you'll do it for free. Come on. Huh? That's not Just part. Why is it not all the way? Why? Hmm? Fear. Go ahead and say it. Fear. Fear 
doing what? I mean, that so I don't, I don't understand. Now, ain't it amazing how easy it is for us to do what we always wanted to do? We do it for somebody else. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it is like that is because there's no risk for us. We don't stand to lose anything. Does that make sense? That's, that's, that, is that something's, something's wrong with that? Not saying something's wrong with, with you. I'm not saying that. But you, let's put that mentality together. We, you're spending the time and the effort that you know that you're better than this person doing what they do because you're naturally gifted at it, but you're helping make them money. And the biggest fear, nobody wants to start over. Nobody wants mm -hmm. to start from the ground up. Nobody wants to, to go through the not having. Nobody wants, here it is, nobody wants to go through the struggle. We all say we want more from God, right? Amen. Do we want more from God? Amen. What do you What do you want to do with your life? Put it out there. What do you want to do with your life? What do you want to do with your life? <laughs> if you could wake up tomorrow morning and be doing what you want to do with your life, what would it be? Who said write the book? And why haven't you written the book? We make time for what we want to make time for. And you believe God gave you that, right? Y'all want to do that? <laughs> okay. I mean, it was me. I mean, that's, For me, it's I mean, like that's a lot of things change. that's how I want to do. Hmm? I mean, there's a lot of things that that's how mm -hmm. I want to do. I mean, career-wise, I mean, seven years ago, you know, I wanted to, you know, mentor, you know, three months ago. And, you know, and you know, uh, and I, I say that jokingly, but you know, I, I that is something that I, I can wake up doing. You know, and if, if, if I can ever stay away from the fried chicken, you know, I, I love to, to train people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really need to stop this video, I swear. Go ahead. What else? Mm -hmm. You don't know? I want no, you no, to be no. a masseuse. That's, that's, no, no, no. That's, that's very, very profound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she, she said she just been so stuck in the fear thing where she don't even think about it no more. Are you living when the enemy has taken what God has placed in you to do? Are you living status quo? Because we're definitely not living supernatural if we're just getting everything by natural means. Now, 
if you want God to rebirth in you what he placed in you before, you need to ask him. But here it is. You're going to have to peel back the layers. And that's when it comes to using scripture when it says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And I am a living witness that God will confirm it. I'm telling you, part three of yesterday, I was stressed out. I went through these interviews and all that kind of stuff. Okay, God, I hear your voice. I'm good. God, I'm sitting in the office and one of my employees that I probably talked to two or three times comes to the office and, 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 and say, he said, he, he, he said, uh, 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 Dave, come here a second. I'm like, uh, what's going on? He said, said nothing wrong, nothing wrong, just, just follow me, just follow me. I was like, okay, what's going on? He said, I, I just got to do this, come here, I got I to show you. And he just walked, and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going around like, okay, something crazy is going to go down. <laughs> I'm like, walk, he said, no, don't, do that. don't trip that, don't be scared, nothing like that. Don't be scared, he said, just, 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 come on, if you can, just follow me. I said, okay. Then we walk up front to the front lobby. Then he pulls me in this conference room and he shuts the doors to the conference room. And I'm looking like, okay, is something broken here? Is something stolen? I'm waiting for somebody to jump out. Is it a surprise? Did the CEO show up? And he walks up to me and he puts his hands out. And he said, this morning when I opened my eyes, you were the furthest thing from my mind. He said, but in my prayer time. I didn't even know the man was a minister. He said, God told me to make sure before I leave this place today to pray for you. And I stood like, really? He said, it was along the lines of, of, of your church, along the lines of, of your family, and, and just along the lines, he just wanted me to tell you that, that, that no weapon formed against you is going to prosper. And he held my hand and this man that, that I ain't never talked to, that he worked for me, and just started praying for me on the job. Real quick, 12, 13 words, but brought enough to pull power and almost pull tears out of my eyes to say, God, you care about me that much. Mm -hmm. And here it is. He keeps confirming things. When you open your eyes and you decide to go in the direction that God wants you to go into, you got to understand that the enemy is putting fear on you. It's something that he's afraid of. Because fear comes from him. God didn't give us fear. God spoke to me again. I'm on my way home today. And, and, and I'm riding. I mean, I'm, I haven't even left the job yet. And I get a text message from Courtney. And the text message said, Daddy, uh, let me know when you on the road to the house. <laughs> and I'm thinking like, what you, you can try to sneak somebody out of the house? <laughs> First of all, nah, that's my core. She ain't, she ain't but, you know, 11, gonna be 12. She, 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 no, nah, that ain't. I said, I said, why? And she said, because when you get on the road to the house, I want to have the door open when you get home. Aww. And I said, look at God. And God said, now pay attention to what, what I just said. When you get on the road 